well, hello. Well, come on in, and, and we're, we're here for a celebration. I'm Bob Batico, and we're here to celebrate the 120th anniversary of the Stoughton Opera House. Back in February 22nd of 1901, the City Auditorium ordered, and that was the early name of the Opera House, the City Auditorium. Since that time, this theater has hosted boxing matches and political debates, and well, that might be the same thing these days, and, and they've had plays, and they've had movies here, and they've had temperance meetings, and Oh, wait, I know something else here. And they've had, um, they've had weddings, and, and they've also had birthdays, and in fact, today is Kathy Miner's birthday. She's 70 years old. She was born 50 years after the Opera House was open. So happy birthday to Kathy, and, and their son and daughter-in-law got married here at the Opera House, so they wanted to share that with us on this anniversary. This is a gem of a theater with wonderful acoustics, great sight lines, and an ambience that's shared with the, with the theater, with the audience, and with the performer. And over this 120 years, there's been a couple of improvements, like so the, the indoor plumbing I hear, but also what you're seeing right now four cameras and a new audio system that goes to a separate room in the back so that we can offer safe music, safe live music. Well, it's, it's almost live. I mean, you're not here. So it's, it's not in-person music, but it's almost live. For, for the last year and a half, the most activity that's been going on around here is the scheduling and rescheduling and rescheduling again of the acts. So it comes to a place where it's safe to gather again. Look, the issue is that day can't come soon enough. But until then, until then, we're going to have some live music, at least almost live. We'll be right here. We're reopening the Opera House stage. And tonight we're doing it with someone who's probably sang on here more than, than anyone else. And she got up and sang a song for, before every show and welcomed, the new, welcomed that performer in. And, well, I think that's how we'll have to welcome her in, too. So... Well, look who's here. Guess who's back. It's good to see you. That's a fact. You sang a song to open each show. Now it's gone full circle, and so here we go. In a second, we'll have Christina Dahlhausen come out here. Now, don't all speak up at once. Okay. Sky and the 
sunset stares you straight in the eye. Gotta let it out to let it in. Time has passed, it's in the past. Have a good look beyond the looking glass. Gotta let it out to let it in. And the world takes on a brand new day. You gotta say what you mean and mean what you say. Gotta let it out. Welcome to the Stoughton Opera House. I have to say those things, right? Hi, Gail. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. Dwayne, you haven't changed a bit. Oh my gosh. Look at you all in your smiling faces. You look great. I do have to say that you guys should probably silence or turn off your phones. Wait, wait, wait. It's not that kind of show, right? Yeah. Don't turn off your phones. Keep them going. Keep them going. Yes, yes. Because that's, because this is a virtual show, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, raise of hands. Who's been to the Opera House before? No, don't all raise your hands at once. Okay, okay. Good, good. Well, you know, if you haven't ever been to the Opera House before, uh, it's good to see you. Welcome. If you have been here, gosh, it's good to see you again. Uh, again, my name is Christina Dahlhausen, and I had a really special time where I had about 10 years where I got to work in this beautiful space, and I've learned so many wonderful things from here. Got to see amazing music on this stage, and what an honor and a pleasure it is to be back here yet again. I have a few songs that I'd like to play for you, and well, you know, a word that went around here at the Opera House a lot was the word serendipity. You know, serendipitous, it's a beautiful word. You know, it's where you can meet a great friend and it kind of changes your life, or there's a perfect moments in history, you know, or where the two events kind of happen all at the same time and then it becomes this beautiful thing. And that's how basically the Opera House got put back together with John Vondren and all the wonderful volunteers. You know, it took 20 years to put it all back together, but if that, those moments didn't happen and those people weren't in the right places, it wouldn't have happened. This next song also was a serendipitous time for a band called The Beatles. Those, yeah, you know the Beatles. And uh, those four guys, they got together, and when they got together, it was magic. And I'd like to play a little song for you. Face to the wall 
try to hide your love away. Thank you. Thank you. Especially you in the back. Yes, thank you. You're very kind. You're too kind. But you do have to keep it down back there because there are some ushers that might be going around and they will do the shh. They'll be shushing you. Because, you know, this is, a, this is such a great acoustic place, you know? Like, the sound just bounces everywhere. Even if you whisper back on the stairs, you can hear it all the way here on the stage. Next time you come, and if I'm here, I'll show you all how that works. It's pretty cool. So this next song is a song that I wrote and I sing with my band called The Iowans. And uh, it's all about, it's a love song and it's, it's all about appreciating the little things. And, you know, gosh, the little things. Like the way the chair squeaks here at the Opera House. Or the faint smell of smoke after Guy Clark smoked those roll-up cigarettes and I said, Guy, you can't be, Mr. Clark, you can't be smoking in the Opera House. And he says, well, um, you know, he didn't really say anything, and uh, I think he just went ahead and kept smoking. But that was Guy Clark, you know. What are you going to do? And, uh, but it's, it's the little things, and it's about appreciating those things. This one's called River Mud. Hour, the smile on a ragamuffin child The way the sun sneaks through the trees You're the night under owl's wings Pure delight in all the little things The way river mud feels under my feet Whoa, whoa, the way river mud
Do you guys know that feeling? When the mud just kind of squishes in between the toes? It's pretty good. It's a good feeling. Well, I've gone from a love song, and then now I'm going to go to the, probably the saddest of all love songs. Uh, there's been times, you know, when I did these little intro uh, songs for all the bands, and of course playing out and about, where people said, you know, you should be covering a Bonnie Raitt song. And I said, well, geez, that's a good idea. And, you know, what I remember of Bonnie Raitt, you know, growing up, you know, heard her on the radio and, and all that. And, but I remember I lived in Iowa City, and this is a shout out to Iowa City, is uh, so we lived in a big pink house on Friendship Street. And you can imagine, you know, what kind of fun we had at, on a, in a big pink, pink house on a street called Friendship Street. And, uh, but anyways, you know, in Iowa City, I remember just kind of walking around downtown and uh, there was this lady who lived just close to downtown and uh, she had a radio station in her, in her house. And one of those like stations that only like went maybe a couple blocks. So you had to be real close to her house to listen to her, her radio station. And it was pretty great. And she had all these records. And I remember these old Bonnie Raid, Raid records that she had in there. And I just remember probably staying there for like four hours at a time, just kind of laying back and just, just really enjoying those. I just, so that's, that's kind of some of my Bonnie Raid experience. But I'd sure like to sing you the saddest song that I know of Bonnie Raitt's. And if you know it, feel free to sing along. But don't sing too loud, because then I won't be able to hear myself on stage. Okay? You guys hearing this? All right, good. Now feel the power 
that you want. No, you won't. And I can't make you love me if you don't want. Well, is it time for the arm trick? <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun up here, even though it's so sad and so nice. I suppose I'll do the arm trick, and then I was just, uh... no, I'm going to save the arm trick to kind of, you know, build up the suspension. Yes? OK. I'm glad that you agree back there. You do too? Good. Awesome. We'll do the arm trick later. First, you know, actually, I have, I wonder if Bob is out there. Psst. Hey, Bob? Psst. Okay, Psst. let me try saying it backwards. Hey, Bob? <laughs> Bob, are you out there? I'm right over here. Oh, hey, <laughs> how are you? I'm great. You sound wonderful. Well, that's sure nice of you to say. Hey, that was a nice song you sang when what? I came up on the stage. Okay. I, and that's a st question back to you. So you told the story about Guy Clark. Yeah. I'm sure that you have some other ones about the songs that you wrote for people. Maybe there was a <laughs> memorable one. Well, let you see. Okay, well, I mean, I guess I can start real just briefly. You know, when I you know, first started, I always would introduce the show like, Hi, welcome to the Stoughton Opera House. But I, I didn't know what to do with my hands. You know, I, I, you know what do you do? What do you do? And then I had the bright idea, like maybe I should, you know, I'm a, I'm a musician and I play some guitar, maybe I should start, you know, doing introductions with music. And I remember the first time that I did that was with Jeffrey Folkalt. And uh, first, I'm starstruck by that guy, you know. I don't know if you've stood close to him, you know, closer than six feet, you know. <laughs> but uh, he's, a, he's a handsome fella. And, uh, but, and trying to, you know, rhyme the word Folkalt was a... Well, the last name Foucault was, was difficult, but it worked out. And, you know, I started a precedence, and that's what everybody, even Bill and Dave, and they're all saying, like, you know, once you start it, you really can't stop. And so I just kind of kept it going, and there was lots of memorable ones. Sometimes I'd write them right backstage, you know, right before the show, and then sometimes I'd write them on the drive to work. Um, but it was, it, was a, it was always a good thing. It was good, good exercise, a good exercise in writing songs. I'd say. And people seemed to like it. No one booed me off. And they wouldn't have time to boo me off anyway, because I kept them real short, like 15 seconds. I, I've heard nothing but great things. Everybody is, they miss them to this day. Oh. So you'll, you'll have to come back once in a while. Well, I sure, well, I, well, I'm glad to be here today for sure. And I'll definitely come back anytime I'm asked. And, and you play with a band. I do play yeah, with I, a you band. You mentioned the Iowans. That's true. So tell us more about that. Well, um, I play with a band called the Iowans. Uh, it's with my cousin, Katie. Hi, Katie, if you're out there. <laughs> oh, there she is. Anyways, uh, and I think everybody should have a cousin named Katie. Um, if you don't have a cousin named Cuddy, Katie, somebody like her. She's just super, and I really enjoy having her in my life, and she's just a great ban banjo player. She uh, plays this claw hammer banjo. She sings the harmony. We kind of have this sister harmony thing going on. Uh -huh. And uh, she also plays the heck, heck out of like some rhythm instruments and uh, piano too. We're adding that to the set and it's, it's great. So ever since I've moved to the Viroqua area, you know, we've really kind of amped, amped up the band and playing play some gigs for it sure. Are there gigs to play now? Or is well, you know, last year kind of slowed down a bit. We did play some gigs, definitely some outside gigs, right. uh, maybe three, four or so. Um, and even before that, we were starting to work on an album. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. You know, it, we felt it was about time to record some of this music. So we worked on an album, and, um, and then the pandemic hit. 
what is the date for everybody? You know, like March 15th, uh, yeah, like St. Patrick's Day yep. or so. You know, that's when it, you know, everything elevated and then shut down. And so, you know, that also kind of shut down um, some of our album recording and oh, things yeah. like that. So, but we still get to practice, you know, uh, we were kind of part of each other's pod. Uh, so that's a good thing, you know, they call, I mean, all these words that are coming out, you know, with the pandemic, you know, with the, with your bubble or your pod or the quarantine and super spreader. I always thought super spreader was like a huge knife that had butter on it, you know. <laughs> What's your definition of super spreader? Well, I would think that would be a seed broadcaster. Oh, a seed broadcaster. Yeah, that's, that's a, a super, super spreader. spreader. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, events like these are not super spreaders because look at you all the way over there and look at me all the way over here. There's no chance, not, not very much of a chance, unless you licked various things. That, well, ah. Anyways. but I think because of this, yes. I, I, with the technology that's here now, I think that it's going to expand the audience available to the Stoughton Opera House. That it's no longer going to be these four walls and these 400 seats. I know. Isn't that amazing? Yes. And, you know, actually, when I asked that question of, like, who's all been to the Opera House before, it, it got my mind going, thinking, like, that's exactly right. Because, yeah, you, maybe it's going to expand the audience. People that have never been able to come to a show before now can be able to see it. And then when it does get a little bit back to... You know, having the, not almost live, but live shows. That's right. You know, <laughs> then they'll be able to come That's and experience right. it in real life. You know, it's kind of like, you know, watching a TV show, like a sitcom or something, and then going to be like an in-audience, you know, member and get to laugh when they say, laugh, you know, <laughs> or boo, or whatever. But yes. How have you been, Bob? Uh, we've been good. It's trying to stay healthy, and well, I have had my first vaccine shot, so okay. man, we just can't can't wait to more for more things to open up. Yes, yes. but we know that safety is first. Yes. So that's yeah. <laughs> so. Anything more about Viroqua? Should we ask about or? Well, yeah. I mean. Viroqua, let's see here. Uh, just today, the birds were singing this morning. I mean, so that was pretty cool. And uh, gosh, there's all, I mean, I think that we're probably in the same boat as, as Stoughton here. I mean, since I've moved to Viroqua, I now, now I start saying oofta. <laughs> it's true, it's true. I didn't say it when I lived here or worked around here, but finally it caught on. You know, I think we're really close to Westby, Wisconsin. Yeah, Viroqua is a wonderful place, you know, around every bend and corner you can find a, find a, a sweet valley or a, or a river or a, or a hill or a bluff or a, it's just, it's just absolutely amazing. So it's a nature's lover's paradise for sure. And if you like the good local foods, you know, come to Viroqua for sure. I guess I have to say these things also because not only do I love Viroqua and shout out to all the Viroqua Verdon County folks is I do when I'm not when I'm when I'm not playing on the Opera House stage uh, <laughs> virtually uh, I am uh, working as doing economic development and tourism for Vernon County and that's where Viroqua is the county seat of that so I have to say come visit and if you come you know maybe give me a call uh, <laughs> and if you want to start a business there it's a great place fertile ground for starting a business it's fantastic that's yes. very nice and I had to make sure I said that to the to that camera. That's right. Not that camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, but it's a great place. Have you been to Viroqua? I have been through Viroqua, but not very much time there. So okay, okay we got to stop. We got a DQ. We got a Dairy <laughs> Queen. You know, uh, there's the Driftless Cafe. That's a fantastic place. I actually did I go there. It you was did very go nice. There. Excellent. Now there's a there's a, obviously there's the food co-op. Uh, you know, that's wonderful. And uh, and the bookstore closed. Oh, well, it's closed for the winter. Okay. Yeah, it's called Driftless Books and Music. And I highly recommend coming there. It, did you ever get to play there? We played there. Yeah, yes. so you know what it's all about. Yeah. Yes. So. Yes. That's, but, that's great. But I think, it, I think Bucky Badger was playing that night also. So. Oh. So then we all left right away and went and watched the game at the VFW, I think. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's lots of changes, but you know, it's still, 
you know, still the good people are there. I mean, I always say, you know, when you go to Vernon County, I dare you not to make a friend, no, you know, there. it's because it's true. But, but that's the same thing, you know, like one, one thing about the Opera House and I'm sure I, I, I sure miss working here for sure. You know, I don't necessarily miss the four or five nights a week working till midnight, but um, you know, I miss the people, I miss the music and. And it's 120 years. It's 120 years. Gosh, you know, 120 years seems like that should uh, have a have a have a birthday song. A birthday Don't you think? Song. Would you guys all like to sing "Happy Birthday" to the Opera House? Okay. And I think we'll just sing that first part, That's... and we'll just make it happen. Would you sing along with me, Bob? I'll, I'll sing quietly. Okay. Yes. Good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Stoughton Opera House. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Should I play a few more songs? That would be a great idea. Yes? Okay. This song is another song I wrote. It's called The Land. And it is about, obviously, well, it's nature, and you can't control nature for sure. And you have to live with the elements, and even where I live now, it's wild and it's wonderful. And you gotta live with it, and it's great. A leap of fate, a leap of faith, a sweet mother's embrace, and I hear the hills sing hallelujah. Turn the ground without a sound, except the new life that's found, the land's awaken, and I'm awake too. Water's high, hopes are dry, and I'm far past goodbyes, and I've learned. Feel her breathe in the breeze. I feel it all in my knees. That winter's coming soon. Take me back to the land. Feel the soil in my hand. I'm not lost. I'm not lost in the hills.
Wow, you guys are really cheering loud. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with that. Well, how about I play a Tom Petty song and then I'll show you the famous arm trick. Deal? Okay. Oh, you think I should do the arm trick first? Is that what you said? Did you hear that? No, I'm going to do Tom Petty first. Tom Petty would want it this way. No, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell but I won't back down no I won't back down gonna stand my ground won't be turned around in a world that keeps on dragging me down gonna stand my song is appropriate, especially for these days. Humans are resilient people. I'm going to tell you how resilient. I'm actually going to show you with a little thing. Let's put this over here. I've survived a lot in my tall, tall life. <laughs> I used to be short, just ask my parents, and then I just grew taller and taller. But one time, there was this thing that happened here at the Opera House. You know, we had to lift lots of stuff, you know, up and down those stairs, up the elevator, down these aisles, right up here, bring them up the stairs. And one time I was lifting this huge, huge speaker. Gosh, whose was it? Lucinda Williams is, you know, she came that one time. We had to pick up this huge speaker and bring it in, lift it up to here. And, and I don't know what was going on. I don't know if Bill had a backache that day but that's probably a joke between him and I. But anyways, we were lifting this thing up and just, oh, I felt my, my elbow pop. And it was just, golly, what am I gonna do? You know, I, I made it through the rest of the night, you know, and did some stretching and, you know, just made sure I did more work with my left. But 
but ever since then, I've been able to do this thing. And, well, I'll just show you. And you tell me what you think. So I just have to readjust it here. Okay, here it goes. I think we're good. Okay. And I just, and it just, it just swings like that now. Is this, isn't this the weirdest thing? It just, it just swings. But if you hit it hard enough, it goes all the way around. <laughs> I mean, and if you really, really hit it hard, it can go twice. Let me see if I can do it tonight. There it goes, that's right, okay. Anyways, so you work here long, at the, long enough at the Opera House, you can do fun things with your elbow. <laughs> I'm sure you're laughing all at home in your comfortable chairs. Or maybe you're not laughing. Maybe you've already shut off. I hope not, because it's so good to see all your faces. It really is. I have a couple more songs for you. And again, thank you so much for having me. And of course, please tune in to the future events that are going to be happening here. It's going to be so exciting, almost live at the Stoughton Opera House. And you can find all uh, of the upcoming shows that are happening. I think StoughtonOperaHouse.com. That's where I would go. And if I were you, you should go there too to find out all about the upcoming shows. Here's another song I play with the Iowans. It's about a little river that runs into the Mississippi. It's called Rush Creek. Keeps turning round and round and round. Can't 
Well, oh, hey. you're playing amazing. Well, thank you. It's, I thought you were over there. Well, I was, but they said, now it's time for you to be on this oh, side. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I see. <laughs> so, I, I, you told everybody about the shows that are going to be coming up. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We're excited about that. We're almost live. It'll be from right here. Yeah. And, well, maybe you'll, maybe you and, and your cousin will come back. Would you have well, us? Well, see, that'd be a good oh, idea. Gosh, well, I'll have to check her schedule. Oh, wow. and, but we'd love to. We'd love that'd to come great. back. That'd be great. Thank and you. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for the anniversary of the Opera House here. We are so glad to be having some music. The place is coming back alive. Oh, I can feel it. Oh. Can't you? And you make it be alive. Um, can you play us out? I would love to. I do have one more song. Oh. Excellent. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Oh, gosh, I love that Bob. His name sounds so good, forward and backwards. Just love it. This is the last song. It's by a Swedish duo named First Aid Kit, and it's called Emmy Lou, and I thought it was very appropriate for the Stoughton Opera House. Oh, the winter wind is coming in. I'm already missing summer. Well, Stoughton's cold, but I've been told I was born to endure this kind of weather. But it's you that I find like a ghost in my mind. I'm defeated, and I'll gladly wear the too. No, I, I'm not asking much of you. Just sing, little darling, sing with me. So much I'm told that things don't grow if you don't bless them with your patience. Well, I've been there before and I hailed up the door for every stranger with the promise well I'm holding back that's the strength that I lack and every morning keeps me returning to my window but it brings me to you and I won't just pass through but I I'm not asking for of you just sing little darling sing with me and yes I would have lied would have lied to you you won't benefit from no Darling
everyone. Happy birthday.